This is our first time doing this, so bear with me. <laughs> uh, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I can't thank you enough for being here today. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Elizabeth Nowakowski. I'm the Associate Professor of Paralegal Studies here at Bristol Community College. I'm also the coordinator of the program. Uh, I was worried about people not showing up for this event, and I can't thank enough uh, Pat Lyons, who's here somewhere, who was the biggest cheerleader, and was telling me, Elizabeth, they're going to come. You'll see, they're going to come. Uh, so here you are. You came, and I'm, I'm grateful. I want to welcome um, everyone. I want to welcome the students and alumni and the families. It's so wonderful to see some faces. I haven't seen you guys for a couple of years, so this is, um, this is priceless. I want to welcome members of our advisory board. I'd like to welcome our amazing faculty, uh, and I'd like to welcome special guests. Uh, our Judge uh, Sharkansky, we would like to uh, also welcome Dr. Buglioni, Dr. Pearl, and uh, President of Bristol County Bar Association, uh, JP Masala. So thank you all for being here today. Uh, let me see what's on my script, because I told you I've never done this before, so let me... Um, you're with me. Uh, this, is, this is very special to us because this is the first time we're doing this. This is the first time we're doing the Lex induction ceremony. This is the first time we're doing the paralegal awards. Uh, and we have a very packed um, program. So we'd like to get it moving pretty quickly. Uh, so without a further ado, I'd like to, um, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Buglioni, uh, who is our uh, interim vice president for academic affairs. Uh, at Bristol Community College, and I'd like her to welcome you and uh, say a few words. So I want to take a moment before we begin to thank Elizabeth. Isn't she amazing? Yeah, she is. We're so thankful to have her here at Bristol Community College. And we're thankful to have you. I, you know, I was sharing with uh, Dr. Pearl a little bit earlier this evening what a special vocation this is to be a paralegal. And uh, to me, a quote that I like that sums up uh, the message that I have for you tonight is from Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And he said, or at least everyone says he said, uh, happiness lies in the joy of achievement and the thrill of creative effort. And so we're certainly here to celebrate your achievements, but I also want to underscore your creative efforts. Paralegals are folks who really contribute a creative effort to our world. They help us with pro bono work. So when people cannot afford to pay a lawyer, often it's the paralegal that provides that access to information and to support. Paralegals uh, help uh, folks find more affordable options because the costs can be lawyer, uh, lower than seeing the actual lawyer themselves. They also provide a lot of community advocacies. It's, uh, it's important that paralegals who know the issues advocate for people who are not getting the care that they need, uh, but also for the issues that need to change in our society. And paralegals do that quite often. They are concerned with issues of justice and fairness. Paralegals influence paralegals so that you all who are just coming through your studies now have the up-to-date information and the most recent uh, types of knowledge that you will go and share with your peers when you work in the fields, or maybe perhaps you're already doing that. And so paralegals help to change the world even for their peers. And lastly, especially in our world right now, where there are so many issues about migration and immigration and populations that are struggling, paralegals provide access to vital educational resources so that people can learn what their rights and responsibilities are and be able to make more effective uh, decisions for themselves and for their families. So when I think about that quote from Franklin Delano Roosevelt, 
I want to commend you on your achievement, but I also want to commend you on choosing a profession that will be full of creative effort and help you to change the world. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Bugliani. Uh, our next speaker, um, you, some of the students may know, hopefully not from facing him in court, um, but uh, you probably will know him from um, when he visited uh, Professor Welch's class, Criminal Law and Procedure last semester. Uh, Judge Ed Shrokansky, uh presides over cases in Massachusetts District Court, um, and before being uh, a judge, Judge Sharkansky practiced uh, law in Bristol County for um, many years. So, Judge Sharkansky, if you, here you are, uh, if you could say a few words to our audience. Thank you so much. I also have a script. This is, uh, this is my first time. So I first want to say thank you for having me here. This is, um, this is a great opportunity for me. I heard, uh, when I heard that um, they were looking for somebody just to speak a little bit about paralegals and the value of paralegals and um, what this means to all of you, um, I was thrilled. I spend most of my time uh, in courtrooms where people are not at their best, in crisis, struggling, rooms filled with fear and frustration and sometimes failure with a few successes here and there. So to be in a room filled with people who are um, succeeding and filled with joy is a thrill for me. So I'm, I'm really pleased to be here today. Um, it's also fortuitous that today is the day that um, we're having the celebration because tomorrow is Law Day. Tomorrow, May 1st, is Law Day. It's a celebration of law um, in our society and around the country courthouses are gonna be celebrating Law Day. So what I thought I would do with this time is um, just spend about 30 minutes or so talking about the history of Law Day and law in our society. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. That's, those you clearly already know me. I would never do such a thing. <laughs> I'd be the first one out the door. So what I want to do first, honestly, and I'm glad you're sitting in the front row, because I, I do want to stop, um, everybody stop for a moment and, um, and just take the moment to, to say to you, to celebrate, to please celebrate your accomplishment here today, whether you're receiving an award or whether you're graduating and getting a certificate. We live in a very fast-paced society with technology moving us forward and people competing all the time to get ahead and it's just go, 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 go and we're always looking forward and I do find it critical and try and take some time in my life and I want to encourage you to do this right now to just stop. Just stop and celebrate tonight. Cele take some time to really look at your journey and how you got here today, the curves and the bumps in the road and celebrate all of those things that got you here because it is an accomplishment, it is important. And, uh, and we need to just take some time to pat ourselves and uh, our friends and our family members on the back. So congratulations to all of you, and I hope that you will do that. So um, one of my favorite sayings at home to my children when they love to you know, announce their own accolades, I say this, I say that good for you, so what, now what? So, or as Belichick would say, I guess we're on to Cincinnati. So we've, um, you, um, you, you, you have taken the time and you've celebrated. What are you gonna do with this new tool that you have and this award that you may have received today? Um, Paralegals are critical for all the reasons you just heard. Um, uh, a great sentiment to all the people you can serve as a paralegal in our community. But I'll speak to you for a moment just as about my um, experience of paralegals as both an attorney and now as a judge. Um, paralegals are really are the backbone of strong justice. So uh, I, I, as an attorney, my paralegal was critical for me because she made me a superstar in the courtroom gave me the ammunition, so to speak, so I could get up on my feet in a court and, and make an argument that was supported in law, that I could submit writings to um, what were gonna be not only clear, concise, and persuasive, and based in law. And, um, and that made me look good, and made me successful, and made me win, and, um, and was important to the people that I served and represented. It also had a second function, and that was to allow me to grow my business. So if you're in the private sector, you only have two hands and two feet. And you can't be everywhere all the time. You can't be in the law books and writing on the computer and be in the courtroom. And you can't be out looking for new business at the same time and, and, and serving and handholding your clients. So you need the paralegal behind the scenes who's really doing all the legwork for you. So again, you can stand up and support that client and grow your business simultaneously. As a judge, paralegals are critical because they help uh, attorneys um, perform in the courtroom. So, I spent a lot of time in the courtroom looking at attorneys who are sort of running around in a frenetic pace trying to do all those things I just described and they don't have anybody supporting them and they make arguments to me in fact, but I don't know if there's any law that supports what it is they're telling me. Um, 
I mean, day in and day out, I ask the question, is there any law that supports that argument? And I have books all behind me, and people often think that judges have read them all and memorized them all, and we know all the laws and the interpretations the courts have made of them, but clearly we don't. And if you want to be a persuasive attorney, you need to give the judge the law that he can rely upon that supports your argument. And believe me when I tell you that the judges rely on those lawyers that step up prepared, citing cases with confidence and honesty, um, and, and oftentimes will follow you. Now, of course, we'll check the law and, and render our decision based on the law, but we find that clearly there's a pattern. The lawyers that stand up and that are prepared thanks to their paralegals um, are the ones that typically win the arguments because they know what it is they need to say to support the law to win, the, to win that argument. So um, paralegals are critical to a strong system of justice uh, and to make sure that fairness uh, prevails in the courtrooms based on the law. As you move forward, with this, again, new tool or this award, um, be open minded about what the possibilities are that are next for you. Um, maybe you're gonna go on to um, continue your education. Maybe some of you are gonna go to law school, I don't know. Um, maybe some of you will work in the public sector with all those opportunities that were outlined for you. Maybe some of you will work in the private sector to support attorneys working in firms. Um, be prepared for anything that may come. That's just my piece of advice and my experience for you. You never know what's gonna come your way. Um, and what this door that you've now opened will present to you. Um, for me personally, my background very quickly was I grew up in Brockton. I went to college, I went to law school, and I became a prosecutor. I knew I wanted to be in a courtroom. So I became a prosecutor so I could be in a courtroom every day. Um, after a couple of years of that, I opened up my law practice, and um, I did that for about 20 years. And I tell you this story not so you can know who I am, but because um, how I ended up as a judge was really, um, it wasn't planned. Um, I, I worked hard, um, I met people along the way, I um, found that I wasn't really that happy anymore practicing law and I had a conversation with someone about becoming a judge and I pursued it. And it was a long pursuit, but um, doors opened along the way in, in ways that I never would have imagined through people I never would have thought could have helped me th uh, through. And ultimately I sit here and I can tell you with all sincerity that this um, uh, stage in my life as a judge is the greatest stage I've, I've ever had, certainly professionally. Uh, I feel blessed to be able to sit up on the bench, serve the people that I serve, but to be happy in the job that I'm doing. And again, it was fortuitous for me that it happened the way it did. I never would have expected it even five years ago. So keep your mind open as you look through this door that's just open for you to figure out where you're going to go because you just never know where it's going to take you. And finally, I just want to talk to you about the recipe that I find for professional success. It's very simple in my opinion. If you work hard and people like you, you'll be successful. You'll be successful. If you work hard and people like you, you will be successful. It's that simple. You're clearly ambitious people. You've gotten here today. You're being celebrated with awards and you've uh, graduated with certificates. So um, whether you graduate from Harvard Law School or Bristol Community College, um, you can create the opportunity for success by being, again, ambitious, by being patient, by being kind and honest. Be ambitious. Get out there, clearly you already are ambitious people, but find the path that you want to travel and go at it 110%. If you do that, you again will succeed. Be kind and be honest. Participate in not only your professional uh, life, but in your, in your community. Meet people, smile, we don't do that enough. Um, you never know who the person is that's gonna create the next, next opportunity for you. And um, finally, be patient because um, you never know when it's going to happen for you. For some people, and we all resent those people sometimes, it happens very quickly and very easily. But um, for some people, it takes a little longer. Be patient, never give up, and it will happen for you. All right, so with that, I uh, congratulate you once again, and I thank you for being here. Thank you so much, George. These were amazing remarks. Um, and I, th I think many of, um, many of us who work in different professions probably would have never imagined that we would be where we are 15, 20 years ago. So now we're going to move on to our next um, item on the program, which is the Lex Induction Ceremony. It is time to get inducted. There are 16 of you here somewhere. We didn't... Uh, 
we didn't have you sit together. So um, let me just tell you a little about Lex. Uh, in 1995, the pro president-elect of the American Association for Paralegal Education, known as AFPI, proposed that undergraduate paralegal students be recognized for their academic excellence. To qualify to apply to, for membership, each program will have, uh, each student or alumni has to have completed two thirds of the actual program and have the GPA in the paralegal classes of 3.5. So uh, it's, a, it's a fairly high threshold and all of you who are here today have met it. So we are, very, we are all very proud of you. All applicants for Lex, uh, I'm sorry, I already mentioned that. Congratulations to all of you uh, who are being inducted into Lambda Epsilon Chi, the National Paralegal Honor Society. Your induction signifies, uh, signifies your academic excellence and you are now charged with the pursuit of that same excellence in your professional endeavor. Remember to seek knowledge and truth in all your pursuits. As I charge you, as I charge you to go forth, the symbols of the ceremony will help you understand what it all means to be a member of Lambda Epsilon Chi. You are going to be presented today with your Lex pin. The pin displays the name of the Honor Society as well as the scales of justice. The scales of justice represent balance, equality, justice, harmony, and economy. They are a symbol of justice as law, order, and truth. You wear that pin, you, you, I'm sorry, you wear it on your lapel over your heart to symbolize that you carry the honor and pride of your achievement and this profession in your heart. You are also being presented today with your purple honor cord. The honor cord is to be worn at graduation over your uh, academic robes. Purple is the color of uh, chosen for law and you will see the paralegal faculty also wearing academic hoods uh, rimmed with purple. Uh, in, in America, in the United States, in 1895, the intercollegial community adopted various codes of academic dress and law has been assigned the color purple. As I lay the purple honor cord on your shoulder, I lay upon you, your shoulders, the, res the mantle of responsibility to mentor, to lead, to advocate for your profession, to excel, to strive, to serve. The cord also symbolizes the lasting bond between you and your college, Bristol Community College. You, you have distinguished yourselves through your hard work, commitment, and vision. As leaders in academia and the legal profession, you have a responsibility to use your privilege for good. You have been given the gifts of intel in intelligence and the character to use the intelligence to achieve excellence. Now use these gifts to live the profession for all who come after you. So now we need to figure out how to do this. So um, we have the certificates here. So if all the inductees if, and in the program, um, everyone who's listed here on the Lex Honor Society induct induction, and you all know who you are. Um, if you could just come here, that would be wonderful. Um, and we will um, be great. Thank you. All right. All right, so, so how are you going to do this? So, the pins here, and I have the cords here. So, I'll, I'll do this. Okay. Would you be able to help us? We need all the help we can get. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, do you want to so do the pins? Do you want to do the cords? Oh, yeah. 
All right. Maybe All right. Need to do this. So I'll do the certificate first, okay. and then you guys after me. All right. I'll. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Um, I, I got this. <laughs> Luckily, I know everybody, so that makes it a little easier. Jennifer, all right. Jennifer Canberra. Oh my goodness, this, all right, this is not, there you go. Stephanie, I'm God. <laughs> Kelly Burley Walsh. Elizabeth Vega. Come on in. Brittany Olet. Olet. Did I get it right? Come on, Jacqueline. I know you're here. Jacqueline Dent. <laughs> Next, we have Tanya Brass. Almeida. Taylor. Oh my God, I didn't recognize you. I didn't recognize you. Claudia Tower. Dan Erwin. Cynthia Raposa. <laughs> Nicholas Prull. Thank you. Yeah. If you could stay here for a second. 
second? That would be great. Um, thank you again, and please let's congratulate our Lex inductees. If I could ask you after the, after the ceremony, if you could all maybe line up and we can do a group picture later, that would be fabulous. But uh, we are still here because um, as an institution, once a year, we may choose to induct an honorary inductee. And an honorary inductee is someone who has been uh, of service to the paralegal program and the institution. I am honored to present that Lex honorary membership to Dr. Pearl, who didn't know it was coming. <laughs> Dean Pearl and I started at the college on the same day. I actually have a certificate for you. It's not just the court. I know. Here we go. I, you, you didn't let me finish. I need to finish. <laughs> Dr. Pearl and I started at Bristol Community College on the same day. So we have, it's been quite an adventure to say the least, uh, both discovering how things are working and she's been a huge supporter of the program. And um, I can't thank her enough for everything that she has done for us because, and for you, because through all of this, you benefit. Um, so she's work, she's behind the scenes. She does things sometimes I don't even know. Uh, and the same Dr. Buglioni, because it extends up there. So thank you both. And I can thank Dr. Pearl enough for all she does for us and for this program. So once again, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Uh, where are we? I want to make sure that my. Um. All right. Now moving on to student awards. Um, this is uh, first time we are. Uh, we've decided to do student awards. We are, we are doing uh, two kinds of awards. Uh, the first award is the top um, top academic achievement award. And I'm just trying to figure out where they are. Okay. Kind of panic mode moment here. Um, top academic achievement award is um, given to a student with a GPA of 4.0. We have two exceptions uh, of students who had 3.97. So I thought it was okay. You know, 3.97. I mean, I don't know who are the people who gave them that little minus somewhere, uh, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking, I know one of them was me, but, um, but 3.7 is close enough. I figured, you know, it, so um, please, um, I'm gonna call out your name if you could come up here um, and uh, I will present you with those awards. Uh, Tanya Braz, 4.0. Karen Kavaka. 4.0. Okay. Jacqueline Dent. 4.0. Another 4.0 is for Ariel Gaspar, but I'm not, I, don't, I don't think she's here. Uh, Jillian Holland, 4.0. And Kelly Barley Walsh.
Congratulations, all of you. That was hard. So this is, you know, this is quite an achievement, as you know. Um, so I am very proud and um, impressed, to say the least. We also asked our instructors, faculty, uh, to nominate students for certain awards. And um, the, uh, one of the awards we, um, we asked them to nominate a student for was a Resilience Award. And that award is going to Courtney Duhensik. <laughs> Congratulations, Courtney. And this is one of the problems when you are Polish and you know how to pronounce a name and you can't really pronounce it the way it should be pronounced and you have to try to figure it out. So I apologize. We also have uh, two awards for excellence in legal writing. Uh, Karen Kavaka. <laughs> and Jillian Holland. And then we have uh, another award, which would I like to recognize a person who's been instrumental in helping us with the law club, this event, and any the, uh, the other networking events we've had in the past. Uh, she's been um, amazing to work with, and she's been the one who who's keeping the law club go uh, going over the last couple of years. Um, so she, uh, the recipient of our leadership award for our legal studies program is Patricia Valente. Um, this will be a little embarrassing. I just noticed that all certificates are not signed, so that's just going to force you not to leave right away, so I can sign them uh, after <laughs> you leave the program, um, especially if you're an alumni. Uh, but no, if you're an alumni, you, you probably, uh, you're not getting those certificates. So the few of you. All right. One thing that makes uh, any program a success is its faculty. We would not be here and the program, and you wouldn't be successful if it wasn't for the amazing faculty that we have. Um, our adjunct instructors, um, our adjunct professors who teach most of the legal specialty courses are what makes this program what it is. Uh, if you are here, could you please stand? Uh, Pat Lyons, Attorney Rob Kidd, and remain standing if you can, please. Attorney Bill Kenny, uh, Attorney Kate Walsh, uh, Attorney Karina Valencia, Attorney Al Ali Pereira. If you could please give them a huge round of applause for everything that they do for us and for you. This year, we, um, thank you. This year, we asked our students to vote on the adjunct faculty of the year. Um, this is not a large program, so it was not a surprise that when the votes came in, all adjuncts were mentioned and, and, and nominated. So that obviously made me very happy, but I still had to pick one. Um, so we did sort of do the number game, and, uh, every st and the students did have to write a comment, so it wasn't just they had to vote, they had to write something. Um, so, it was a really difficult choice, but then, it just like I said, came to numbers. Um, but I think all professors, um, I'm sorry, I'm reading the comment. I'm thinking, what, what's, I'm like, well, this, I didn't write that. Uh, all right. Um, so, the recipient of our award this year is Professor Matthews. Patrick Matthews. <laughs> Professor Matthews has been teaching for us for a couple of years, uh, mainly civil procedure, he also taught torts. And I'm gonna read a couple of comments from the students after I give him the award. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna, 
Uh, so I'm just going to read you a couple of quotes. Uh, this was a really, this is from students, this was a really difficult choice. This is coming from the student, not me this time. As I think that all the professors I have encountered through my experience at Bristol Community College have been very wonderful. Upon much considerations, I select Patrick Matthew because of his continuous dedication to ensure that his students really understand and can apply all of the information uh, he delivers during the lecture. Professor Matthews has gone above and beyond to ensure that not only his students walk away with an understanding for the course material, but also the he has the ability, have the ability to put that understanding in, uh, in, in, I'm sorry, to application of the material. Pat Matthews, made teaching fun and interesting. He always joked around and related learning towards, in this case, and civil procedure to a real life. Uh, another quote, uh, Professor, um, Professor uh, Matthews had uh, a great teaching style that I understood. He lectured he lectures were better than reading the book. Well, that's, uh, um, <laughs> uh, and his examples from his own work uh, made this easy to understand, uh, made it really easy to make understand the material. I enjoyed, I enjoyed always going to his class and looked forward to his lectures. And the last quote, uh, Professor Matthews is the reason I have decided to focus on civil litigation. His, classes, his class was a real challenge. He's such a great instructor. I remember everything that I have learned, which is a lot. So once again, congratulations. Uh, and I, will, I ask Professor... Ma I asked Professor Matthew to say a few words, so. Thank you, thank you very much. I, I really appreciate this, and, uh, and I just found out I was gonna say a few words a couple minutes ago, so. Uh, <laughs> but, but I'd like to first of all say thank you, and I'm sure it was a very close vote because I know the other uh, attorneys who are working as adjuncts here, they're very high quality, and I know they're very dedicated to what they do, so, um, but thank you very much for, for voting me. I, I appreciate that. Um, that. That being said, this award actually is very um, poignant to me, very, very important, and I'll tell you why, is this is where I started my, my legal education. Uh, I came here to BCC when I was a young man, um, and my academic success was by no means a certain thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I, I came from a family of seven children. Um, my, dad, uh, my dad died when I was five years old in the military, leaving my mom a widow to raise these children. Um, education probably it was, was something that was going to be a challenge. Um, I, I, don't, I, I often tell people that I didn't choose BCC, but it chose me. Uh, I didn't have a lot of choices. Um, I was, you know, f low economic status, uh, coming from a big family, you know, but I, I, I was lucky that it did cho choose me. Um, as I went on in my career, uh, in my academic career, I went on uh, to get a bachelor's degree in business, I got my MBA, and then I got my law degree. And um, I, everything that I learned here at BCC prepared me, gave me the tools that I needed to learn, to, to go forward. And so I'm very, very grateful to this, this school for what it's taught me. And I'm very, very excited for you people. I hope that you go forward and you com complete your educations and that, that you go ahead and, and become paralegos and become law clerks and become lawyers and hopefully even become judges. Um, I know because I see the caliber of the students who I teach, I know that that's going to be the, 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 the path for many of you. And I'm very, very excited to, to, to work with you and be a little bit part of that journey. Because I know that the teachers that I had here when I went to BCC were, this, were, were as good, if not better, than some of the teachers I had later on in my academic career. And so, so I can't wait 
for you guys to graduate. I can't wait for you to, f to finish your education and come join us in the legal profession. It's one of the best professions in the world. Every day I get up, I love what I do. I, it's, it's exciting. There's, there's new challenges every, every day, and, there's, and you'll never get bored. So once again, thank you very much thank, uh, for, for voting me, and thank you very much for letting me help you with your educations. Thank you. Thank you again, and congratulations, Pat. So we're getting close to our, the, the bitter part, the, the bittersweet part of our program, I guess, uh, recognizing our graduates because they're leaving us. Uh, I'm very happy for all of you, but why do you have to leave? Um, uh, you get energized and fascinated by the complexities of law as you have moved through the paralegal program, starting with the introduction to law class, trying to figure out what is this all about, you know, through the torture, through legal research, you know, then even more torture of advanced legal research and writing. Uh, but you also have realized that in criminal law, guess what? Criminal law is really not what law and order is uh, portraying it to be. Uh, you realize that real estate, you know, law is more than closings. Uh, family law goes beyond uh, divorces, uh, etc. And estate planning can actually be fun, especially with, with, when taught by Ali Pereira, right? So, um, so this this has opened your eyes, and I know that even if you know some of you um, decide to continue and not work as paralegals, I know that has opened your eyes, and you are never gonna look at things the same way. You're never gonna listen to a radio show about legal issue the way and, and respond and react the way you did before you came here. So you had um, your internships. You had. Um, hopefully validated your choice of a career, working for 150 hours of, under supervision of an attorney. Uh, and now, you, like I mentioned, you are doing something unbelievable. You're leaving. <laughs> um, and hopefully uh, you are going somewhere where you're going to be in a good place. I know many of you are looking for jobs. Some of you have jobs. Some of you are going to a four-year college. Some of you are thinking of law school. And I know there's one of you here at least who told me when I had you in my intro to law class and you know who you are, I want to be a judge one day. So Judge Sharkansky and Pat Matthew, um, I will tell you when she gets there. Uh, the following students will walk across the stage during this year's commencement ceremony uh, in June, but it gets really busy and it's really hard to, uh, for us all to get together after. Uh, sometimes we, we get a chance to do it before, but not everybody can make it to the commencement. So this is a great opportunity to recognize those who will be leaving us soon, uh, but certainly you will not be forgotten because you know I will find you uh, when I need to find you. Uh, you are all amazing. You all know what it took you to get to where you are. You, every single one of you has a story. Uh, some of us know those stories. Some of, you know, sometimes we don't know the whole story, but it's, it is, um, you are all an inspiration to every single one of us. And I'm speaking on behalf of the, the faculty because sometimes we really don't know how you do it. Uh, you should be proud of all the achievements and the achievement of graduating, uh, and I am so proud of every single one of you. As you graduate, you do not leave Bristol. Uh, rather, you, are tra you transform from a student to an alum. Always, though, you are a member of the college and the paralegal studies family. Um, you should always remember that you are in welcome to my classes, and I know any other instructor's classes at the program. You are invited to stay connected through Facebook. You know, I will, you, you heard me. Are you connected on Facebook? Make sure you like the page, stay in touch. You know, that's where I post the jobs. Um, but please keep in touch, call, visit, and don't be a stranger. And one day, who knows, maybe you're gonna come and teach for us. You never know. Um, so please, if you are here, please come forward. Cindy Almeida, Tanya Braz, Karen Cavaca, Carol Claflin, Janie Corvello, Jacqueline Dent, Ariel Gaspar, Jillian Holland, Louis Pereira, Jasmine Raposo, Shauna Senechal, Alexa Taylor, 
Claudia Tower, and Kelly Barley Walsh. Congratulations to everyone here. They are amazing. No, just get closer so he can take a picture. Oh, oh okay, never mind. I will miss every single one of you. I know some of you are graduating with a certificate program, so I think we actually will see you back. So I'm very excited about it. But for those of you who are not, um, not returning to Bristol, I wish you luck. We all wish you luck uh, in your endeavors. And please just be in touch and don't forget about us. Uh, don't forget about me and all your instructors and what Bristol has done for you because we are going to miss you. Thank you so much and congratulations again to our <laughs> graduates. I think we are done. Um, what an incredible evening. Um, if you, um, I hope you're going to stay for a few more minutes. I hope you're going to um, the opportunity to take pictures and uh, maybe just reconnect with everyone. Um, so thank you again for coming, everyone. Um, okay. I'm sorry. Um, we all got together and we just want to give this to Professor Nowakowski because she is an incredible director. She's always running around class to class. She makes sure that she touches base with every one of us. She texts us back at 10 p.m. So she's touched my life and everybody else's here. So this oh, is Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Um, I will miss you guys. Uh, once again, thank you. Um, you guys all know I love what I do. Um, wouldn't be anywhere else. Uh, and I will continue doing this and improving this program. So thank you for being part of history. Uh, this is our first Lex induction ceremony. So congratulations to all award winners and the Lex inductees and for making history at Bristol Community College. And now you, can get so, now you can get some snacks and take some pictures with your favorite instructors, or all instructors. 